Some experts studying the budget today say that for ordinary Queenslanders, it may be fool's gold. They say it provides some hope, but a lot of it is glitter without real substance. Mark Sulo has more. As most Queenslanders went about their routines today, Noel Whittaker was doing his job too. He's a financial commentator and investment expert, a man who studied more budgets than most treasurers. There are a lot of smoke and mirrors. Things which appear to be great are not so great when you look at the detail. And that seemed to echo the views of many. Take the extra half a percent on the Medicare levy. Another tax? No. <laughs> <laughs> or the power payment to pensioners. They only give us $75, and the $75 is just a drop in the ocean. In fact, the elderly feel a little ripped off, insulted by the extent of the government's lack of budget money for them. We need more passion. We need more, shall I dare say the word, love. Noel Whittaker feels they won't benefit much either from the home downsizing proposal, nor the young from the super saving scheme. The big cost are on a buying a house are mortgage insurance and stamp duty, and these could be more than $50,000. And that wasn't addressed, although home seekers feel something may be better than nothing. If it allows me to put money in earlier, then I'm sure it would help in at least the short term. As the saying goes, there are no two ways about it. Young students aren't happy about their lot from the budget, higher fees. With jobs so hard to get even after uni, it makes some wonder about the value. And then just having the debt on top of that just makes people not really want to go to uni in the first place, I think. The Queensland Council of Social Service summed it up. There were good points, infrastructure, the funding of the NDIS. But where were the changes that the Treasurer hoped would ease what he had called public frustration? We really haven't seen any structural changes that are going to give relief to families and individuals, um, which is a real problem because we know from surveys that are done about 48% of families have experienced financial stress in the last 12 months. The Treasurer may have a lot more convincing to do in Queensland. Mark Sulo, 10 Eyewitness News.